So we have a new AI image generator in the market that can create you amazing AI images in lightning fast speed. And not only that, it can help you create real time images, whether you are working with sketch to image or you are reimagining your image into multiple style options. So yeah, I'm talking about FreePick Picasso, which is a new AI image generator in the market. So yeah, let's just go ahead and explore this tool and see how good it is. All right, guys, so here I am in the home page of freepickpicasso.ai. So right off the bat, you guys can see we have uh, lots of generations that people have created out of this amazing tool. And yeah, you guys can see uh, we have different style like cartoons over here, uh, black and white, cityscape, landscape, 3D, anime, all type of styles that people have created and this tool is capable enough to do all of those all right guys so yeah first of all if you see uh, the features of this ai tool so it provides ai image generation then it provides a reimagine and then sketch to image and enhancer which will be releasing out soon okay so first of all let's just go ahead and jump into the ai image generator of free pig picasso ai all right all right so right off the bat if you click on uh, ai image generator so this will give you a very interesting option so it will say create with heart build with mind so you can go ahead and use any of this prompt just to get an idea like how your prompts are gonna be all right if you want to go ahead and take an idea of what will be uh, the prompt formula for this AI image generator. So it will be really, really simple because this is a very new tool is in beta phase. So it doesn't have some kind of uh, prompt formula yet. You can go ahead and take an idea from the images that people have already created. That you can see this is close up on a zombie in a bathroom, a view of bald El calf. This is view of majestic jellyfish in the ocean view of sheep grazing outdoors in nature. So yeah, you guys can see this is only uh, like three to four of word prompts, right? So yeah, there is no prompt formula. You just need to be like as simple as you can to create the amazing images out of free pick. Because you know why? The magic lies in the styles option of this amazing AI tool that we'll be talking about in a moment, all right? All right, so this is basically the homepage for the AI image generator of free pick Picasso. So you guys can see it is a very intuitive uh, kind of design right so first of all we have the prompt box then you can go ahead and select the number of images that it will produce for your every prompt for every generation okay then you have option of aspect ratio so you can select between square portrait social post social story standard rectangular widescreen so there are lots of options then we have the option of share so you can share other prompt with the world and then you can click on create to create your prompt and then we have very interesting options of style, color, framing, lighting, and all those options. So in style, you guys can see like we have very handsome amount of style options. So we have photo, cartoon, 3D, volumetric, vintage, digital art. And I'll show you guys like these style options are really, really good. And this tool provides you results in lightning fast time. Okay, then we have few color options. Uh, then we have some framings, uh, lighting, and all those things, okay? So first of all, let's just go ahead and take our first prompt, which will be uh, this, okay? Uh, a smiling woman with curly hair and glasses, okay? So we're gonna select uh, the photo style first of all, and I'm gonna select my number of creations as minus two. All right, so meanwhile I was talking, it had already created those generations for me, like take a look at the speed of this tool. It is absolutely fantastic. So we have, first of all, four creations. First of all, we have a smiling woman with curly hair and glasses. Then this is our second generation, then the third, and then the fourth. So right off the bat, you guys can see like these results look absolutely perfect, right guys? So yeah, um, you can go ahead and simply download from here or you can download it in HD, but that will require uh, the pro version. So now the fun part lies in the style options of this free pick Picasso. So if we go ahead and take our same prompt and you know, select the cartoon style now for that and click on create. So take a look at this, within just few seconds, it has created the cartoon style, cartoon character for the same prompt, a smiling woman with curly hair and glasses. So you can select 3D with that as well. Okay, so here is the 3D image for our same prompt. Wow, this looks absolutely fantastic. Then let's just go ahead and select comic style and create the same prompt. Okay, wow, so this is now the comic style for our same prompt. This looks absolutely fantastic, you guys, right? Then if we go ahead and select, let's just say cyberpunk, okay? I'm, I'm looking forward to see how it looks. So yeah, wow, this looks absolutely fantastic, right, you guys? So now we have a cyber look kind of style 
for our uh, prom event, which was a smiling woman with curly hair and glasses. So yeah, this looks really, really fantastic, you guys, right? All right, so now let's just go ahead and discuss what will be uh, the color options in this free pick Picasso. So if I go ahead and take some other prom, so I'm gonna go ahead and write a boy with a baseball glove and a determined look, okay? So for that, uh, for the style, I'm gonna go ahead and be simple because we're playing around with the color this time, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna select this split color, create and see how it looks. All right, this looks really, really good. So we have uh, the split color for our prom, which was a boy with the baseball glove and determined look, all right? This looks absolutely fantastic, right? And then let's just go ahead and select, let's just say gold glow, this one, and create it again. All right, so now these are the results. Yeah, you guys can clearly see this looks absolutely fantastic, right? So we have like different kind of variations and different lighting for our same prom. Like this is absolutely crazy, you guys, right? And if you take a look and let's just go ahead and select this vibrant color and see how this one looks now. Okay, wow, this is really, really good, right? All right, so now let's just go ahead and see what are the framing options we get out of Free Big Picasso. So I'm gonna go ahead and type in my prompt that uh, are an elderly man with a wrinkled face and kind eyes. So yeah, let's just go ahead and select framing as portrait for this one. And I'm gonna select my color as uh, the normal or regular one, okay? Uh, or you know what, let's just not select any of that. Okay, so the first of all is to select portrait and see how this one looks. Okay, wow, this is absolutely fantastic. Like, take a look at the details into the image. Yeah, it looks really, really good, right? So we have now an elderly man with a wrinkled face and kind eyes uh, in the portrait framing. So this looks really, really good. And if you take or like close-up shot for the same prompt, so this is our close-up shot. And if you take uh, some other uh, framing options, let's just see cinematic and see how it looks. All right, wow, you guys can see the cinematic is actually doing a job. We have kind of a cinematic uh, mode into that. And if you go ahead and select this in some like, you know, standard aspect ratios, it will provide you a good cinematic effect for that. Like take a look at these images. Wow, these are absolutely perfect, right guys? Okay, now let's just go ahead and see what are those some of the lighting options that we get out of this free pick Picasso. So I'm gonna type my prompt in the prompt box, which is a woman with a vibrant headscarf and a large hoop earrings. And yeah, for the lighting, first of all, I'm gonna select studio and see how it looks. All right, this is really, really good. So we have studio lighting for a woman with a vibrant headscarf and a large hoop earring. So yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic. And if you take the same prompt and do it in dramatic lighting, wow, so this is absolutely fantastic. So we have now, a woman with a vibrant headscarf and dramatic lighting. And if you take same and do it in long exposure and create it once again. So yeah, we now you guys can see in the background, we do have long exposure. So yeah, this, this looks really, really to the point up to the mark, right guys? All right, so if I talk about a bit more of this AI image generator, so it can do a lot more. Like you can go ahead and play around with lots of photography types with this AI image generator, which this is really good about. So first of all, if you see, like, if you want to do some kind of product photography out of this free Big Picasso AI image generator. So let's just say I type in my, this prompt right away, which is a vintage leather handbag on a rustic wooden table. And if I go ahead and create this. So these are some of the amazing results that we got for our vintage leather handbag on a rustic wooden table. So this is our second image, yeah. This looks really, really good. Especially the third one, I'm really much liking uh, the aesthetic of this image and the fourth one. And now what you can do is you can go ahead and play around with different color framing and lighting to get the most out of your product photography, all right? So let's just say I select this dramatic lighting or studio lighting for this product and create it once again. All right, so take a look at this now and like how good our product photography has changed just with Selecting one lighting option. So yeah, this looks absolutely fantastic, you guys, right? And if you go ahead and play around with different color options as well, let's just say I go ahead and select the split one and create it once again. So yeah, you guys can see now we have different variations with different background, different lighting, different aesthetic for our product photography. And yeah, this looks absolutely perfect, right? All right, so if I go ahead and take one more example, so uh, for our product photography, and I type in my prompt, which is a tube of a lipstick with a kiss mark on a mirror. And let's select our image as two because we don't have lots of creations left. And I choose my style as 
photo and I choose my color as let's just say gold glow and I select my framing as cinematic and the lighting I'm gonna go ahead and select this as studio all right so if I go ahead and create this so yeah wow just take a look at this right so we have a final product by selecting all of the options that this tool provides you and yeah these images look absolutely perfect right and if i go ahead and unselect all of these options and see what our product is going to be without those so if i create this so yeah, this is our normal product photography right and if we go ahead and select the options by that i'm going to go ahead and select color uh, again this time it will be different so let's just select split for the framing i'm going to select cinematic for the lighting i'm going to go ahead and select uh, dramatic okay and if i go ahead and create this so yeah, just take a look at the difference of these images yeah so previously it wasn't like looking that good but now this product photography this looks up to the mark right and similarly we can go ahead and play around with the fashion photography as well so let's just say if i go ahead and type in my prompt that a man in a tailored suit walking down a busy city street and if i click on create with the same settings so yeah this is uh the image you guys get so this looks really really good and if i go ahead and play around with different style so first of all let's just say isolate photo for the color i'm gonna go ahead and select split and for the framing i'm gonna go ahead and select cinematic or let's just go for portrait and for the lighting i'm gonna go ahead and select studio okay and let's just create this once again so yeah, here is our final output. So now we have a perfect photography for our fashion style. So yeah, this looks really, really good, right, you guys? All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and talk about the next feature of Freepy Picasso, which is reimagine. So now you can go ahead and discover the multiple versions of your single image, which is absolutely good, right? So if you go ahead and jump into this one, so first of all, it gives you the option to upload any image and you can go ahead and change the style of that image into multiple options. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and upload my own image and see how good this tool is, right? So I'm going to take this image as my source image. So yeah, right off the bat, it has basically provided me with different style options. Like I didn't ask for it, right? And it keeps on providing me with different style options like one by one. So yeah, wow, these results are really, really good. Like I can show you, this is my uh, source image right over here. And these are the images that I get out of this. Like you can see, like we have different options. I just uploaded my image and through that, it basically provided me all these options, which are absolutely crazy, right, you guys? And you know, not only that, it basically also provided me the auto prompt for that as well, which is a 22 year old Asian male with black hair wearing a green bomber jacket, standing with hands on hips in an outdoor setting set. Uh, this looks, the prompt looks really accurate. And now we have few more options. So first of all, you can go ahead and select style for your image as well. So let's just say I select the cartoon style for my, this image right over here. And I click on reimagine. So you guys can see we have now the cartoon character for my, this image. So yeah, this looks uh, yeah, this looks quite decent, not that great. And if I go ahead and select any more style, let's just select 3D and reimagine once again. All right, so this is basically the result it provided my for this image. So yeah, this looks really, really good to the mark as well. And now if I go ahead and select, let's just say one more, another style, let's just select cyberpunk and reimagine. So yeah, wow, take a look at this. Now we have a complete a different cyberpunk style for our this reference image and uh, this looks really really good okay and let's do one more style let's just select comic one and reimagine and see how this one looks so yeah take a look at this image yeah you guys can see this looks really really good so now we have a comic style image uh, which is reimagined for our this source image and yeah this looks really really good as well right now let's just go ahead and talk about the last feature of free pick picasso which is sketch to image so now you can go ahead and draw anything you want and it will create the ai image for that sketch or for that drawing in real time which is absolutely fantastic right so first of all uh, you get a default drawing uh, so this is a drawing of some kind of underwater where you had jellyfish and all those cute cute creations and basically providing me these things so yeah you can go ahead and change that uh with the help of prompt as well like let's just go ahead and uh, clear all this all right i'm gonna clear that and first of all uh i'm gonna go ahead and start drawing so before doing anything uh, you need to go ahead and mention what you are about to draw in your prompt. okay so i'm gonna go ahead and say a cute little house and you guys can see right 
it is creating everything in real time for me, like which is absolutely fantastic. A cute little house and green scenery with lots of trees. Trees and serene nature, okay? So this will be, uh, you know, the theme of my drawing that I'll be creating. And from that, you can go ahead and select imagination, like how much you want uh, your imagination to be accurate in the images. So if you go ahead and select like everything, so take a look at the difference, like how it is, it is doing in real time, right guys? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as 70%, all right, this looks good. So first of all, let's just go ahead and start drawing, be a little bit creative and see how our drawing turns out. Like I'm not the best drawer out there, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try and see how this looks, okay? So first of all, I'm gonna try to draw uh, the land, which will be green in color, uh, which is basically the grass. And okay, so first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And now I'm gonna take another color, okay, which will be in like dark green or something like that. Okay, this one looks good. And I'm gonna go ahead and draw this thing, you know, a bit of uh, grass stains on my land. All right, this looks good. And now after that, let's just go ahead and start drawing the trees, okay? So for the tree stem, I'm gonna select the brown color. All right, so here is the brown color. And if I go ahead and draw a bit of a stem for the tree, so you guys can see, you know, it's rating in real time. And after that, I can select my green color and draw a tree from here, all right? So yeah, you guys can clearly see I'm not good at drawing that much, but yeah, you can see it is working kind of a bit, okay? So if I fill up uh, the tree, all right, and after that, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a bit of a sky right over here. So yeah, you guys can see it is clearly building something. And after that, I can go ahead and draw a bit of like huts down here. All right, I think this looks good right here as well. So yeah, you guys can see, you know, you get the idea like how it is creating everything for me in real time, okay? And if I go ahead and do this, I'm not sure what it is, but yeah, this is kind of, uh, you know, our final output. We have like cute good huts right over here. We have like yellow tree, then a big green tree that I drew right over here. So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and play around with sketch to image in free pick picasso and you can go ahead and slide down with the image say we'll go ahead and create that for you based on the imagination strength you're gonna go ahead and select right so yeah, there you have it guys this was the exploration of free pick picasso which is a new ai tool that just released in the market so i hope you liked this video guys and i'll see you in the next one until then take care bye bye